you right now, many of you, are looking at your past failures. You're looking at those hard times, those bad experiences. You're thinking about the relationship the person treated you wrong, they cheated on you, they abused you. You're thinking about the money that you lost, and that is influencing your decision to get to your outcome. If I'm driving my car right now, I'm driving my BMW i8, if I look behind me right now and I'm trying to go to my gym, the outcome, what happens? I'm gonna wreck. I should be focusing all my time, all my effort on the outcome, whatever that may be, right? Today, it's the gym. It's the same thing that happens in your life, right? When you look behind you at all the past experiences, all the failures, all the struggles, and now you're scared to approach, you're gonna wreck. But if I just continue to look ahead at my outcome, I would have been there already. You would have been there already. You're too concerned what happened to you two years ago. That is contaminating your ability to get to your goal and your outcome. Hello, my people. As y'all know, this is Champ from the lab, of course, and I'm definitely coming to you live. How y'all doing out there? I'm definitely uh, wanted to come through and just, you know, give a shout out to the almighty Jehovah God, of course. You know what I'm saying? For making it possible, making everything possible. You know what I'm saying? Everything possible for me to come to you, you know, and uh, basically talk to you beautiful people, you know what I'm saying? Tell you and drop a little bit on your mind. Drop a little bit on your mind. Definitely that. Definitely that. So let's get it. You know what I mean? I want to talk about these four things, you know, and be honest, if you like what I'm saying, if it's resonating with you and if you like it, go ahead and hit that like because I love it. You know what I mean? Hit that like because I love it. Leave a comment because I want to know your comments. I want to know. I want to know your thoughts about everything that I say. You know what I mean? And definitely hit that bell. Hit that bell. Hit that subscribe because I definitely want to. Uh, I want you to know. I want you to know every time I come on, leave a leave a uh, a message. Leave a you know a, a thoughts. You know, leave something on your mind. Let make you think a little bit. You know what I mean? But these four things, go ahead, hit the description in below, you know, hit the description in below, and I got a couple things in there for you, you know what I'm saying, a couple treats, you know, in the description, a couple treats for you, and I'm definitely, uh, you know, I'm definitely leaving you a little something, you know what I mean, a little pardon gift, but uh, these little four things I wanted to talk about, you know, it's basically how you organize your mind you know what i'm saying organizing your mind puts you in a better place you know what i'm saying a better place to manifest to visualize you know what i'm saying meditation all of that you know what i mean and definitely you know your mental your mental health you know what i'm saying of everything that your mental action that everything that you think about everything that you think about you know what I mean? Or don't think about. Think about that. Think about that. Think about if you ain't positive. You ain't positive about nothing. If you ain't positive about nothing, then how can your life be positive? Think about that. That's kind of like self-explanatory. If you're negative all the time, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Team Positive. If you negative all the time, how can you, your life, not follow your feelings, your reactions, your your language, you know what I'm saying? Your energy, and that's another one. That's, that's, that's one of the four, your energy. How can your, your mental not follow your energy. Your energy is what drives, is one of the things that drives your dreams and drives your actions, you know? And another thing, it drives your physical. Think about that. That's another one. That's, that's the third one. How to organize your mind. Your energy drives and it goes straight to your physical, your physical mind, your physical body 
reacts to your energy and reacts to your mental. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I said. And when I thought about it, I'm like, wow, that's big time. You know why? You know why it's big time? Because everything starts from your mind. So if it starts from your mind, where you get the energy, just say, just say, say work, say work. Let's just say work. You got to get up and think about every day, every day. I got to get up and go to work. What takes you to do that? Energy, the energy that you put forth and your energy makes your physical make you get up and go. <laughs> Come on now. If it's resonating with you, if it's resonating with you, hit the like because I love it. You know what I mean? Leave a comment. And the thing about it is, leave a comment because I love to hear what you're thinking. You know? And yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And that's why people are so emotional about, you know what I mean? About going to work or about this dream or that dream or anything because that's a fourth one that's the fourth one emotional your emotions is all the things that make you go the things that you know what i'm saying that the things that how you feel about working how you feel about not working i'm emotional about not working for anybody else in my and for the rest of my life you know what i'm saying i'm emotional and some people are emotional about going to work not wanting to go to work not want to go to work, but they're emotional because they think they got to go to work instead of working on their dreams. You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do but strive for your dream. You know what I'm saying? That's all. That's all you have to do. Believe that. That's all you have to do. If you don't believe that, think about it. Think about Tyler Perry, who was homeless. Jimmy Butler, who played for the Miami Heat that's in the Eastern Conference Finals right now, who was homeless. Think about that. They was homeless, but they still live their dream. They still live their dream. So think about it. What is possible, what you think is possible or is not possible now, today, that doesn't mean that it's not possible tomorrow. You get what I'm saying? Oh, because, and that's your thoughts. If you have your thoughts, that's everything is possible. Everything is possible. That means everything could happen. Anything that you want is possible in your subconscious mind. Get out of your conscious. Your conscious mind. You got to be almost like kid-like. Because kids think they can do anything in the world. A kid, if you put a kid on a house, you know what I'm saying? Tell the kid to go up there and get that ball, they going to do it. Because you know it's exciting. It's the possibilities of going up there doing something they ain't never done. If they ain't never did it, they ain't never climbed on the house. The kid would do anything that you tell them to do. And not think twice. That's how you got to be about your own business, your own dream. That's how you got to be. You got to be fearless. You got to have no conscience. You got to be in your in your subconscious mind to be like, I'm going to do this regardless of what. I'm a, and, and this is going to be the only thing I'm going to do. And regardless of what, regardless of the consequences, I'm going to make it. No doubt. That's how you got to be in your subconscious mind. Always. That's how you visualize. That's how you manifest. That's how you, basically, you meditate. Think about it. You and your subconscious mind when you meditating. You meditating on your dream. On your dream. Think about that. <laughs> so if you like what you hear, if you like what you hear, I want you to, I want to know that, uh, I want to know your thoughts. So leave a comment down below. Leave a comment down below. You know what I'm saying? In the description, there's links right there. You know, oh my God, 
I got a store now. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, buy your TVs, buy some clothes, some shoes, some jewelry. You know what I'm saying? Even mask. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely. It's definitely, it's definitely something in there for you. Sports, you know, everything. It's a little bit of everything in there. You know what I mean? So go ahead, hit that link. All in one dot biz. All in one dot biz. Go ahead, hit that link. It's in there. You know what I mean? But let me get back to it. You know what I'm saying? Let me ask you all a question. If I ask you, can you walk? Can you get up? If you're sitting down and, and I say, all right, can you get up and can you get up and walk? You're going to be like, what? You're going to be like, yes. Of course. Especially if you can do it, right? Yeah. But if I ask you, if you're sitting down and if I ask you, can you fly? Nine times out of ten, what is somebody going to say? Somebody going to say, Hell no, I can't fly, nigga. I can't fly. You know, when, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, when was I able to fly? You know, never. You was never to fly. You was never able to fly from sitting down. But think about this. That That is how people think about their lives in that fashion. Because nine times out of ten, you was not able in your past, yesterday or whatever, you was not able to, from your seat, from your tail, get up and fly. Think about that. You was never able to do that. But tomorrow, what was making you think that you can do that? But the thing about it is in your subconscious mind, you can do that because everything is possible in life. Everything is possible. Man has man has really in movies and in life has shown the impossible happen. The impossible can happen in your mind because your mind is what makes everything work. What you believe and think is what makes your outer world. What you believe and think makes your outer world. Think about that. You know what I'm saying? Don't, 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 don't run your life on your past. Just believe in what your dream is and it will happen. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's going to happen or not, it's not your decision that's the universe only thing you can do is strive for your dream and let the universe play out but you not striving for your dream is the worst thing you can do that's the travesty for though you not giving your dream a chance but you giving the man you working for a chance his dream is, is ooh, it, his dream is you working for him <laughs> or her. You know what I'm saying? That's his dream. You working for them. You know what I mean? Come on. If it's resonating with you, if it's resonating with you, if it's something that you liking right now, go ahead and leave me a little, a little like, because I love it. You know what I mean? Go ahead and leave me a little uh, comment because I love to hear your thoughts. You know what I mean? But believe me, this is only part one because there's so much to this. There's so much to this, you know what I mean? This is part one of organizing your mind. You got to organize your mind, you know what I'm saying, for your dreams to come true, you know, for your dreams to come true. Organize it in a way that, you know, these four, your energy, you know what I'm saying? Your energy is tough. Your mental, your physical, you know what I mean? You got to, you got to, you got to have at least three of those. You got to have a three. You got to, you know what I'm saying? Because all of those work, your mental, your physical, and your, come on now, y'all don't know? Come on now, your mental, your physical, and your what? <laughs> ah, your emotional. You gotta be emotional about it. You gotta be emotional. You gotta be emotional about 
your dream. You got to be emotional about your physical, your 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 mental. You know what I'm saying? You got to be emotional with what put what you put in your mind. You got to be emotional about that. You got to be emotional about, about about not living your dreams. Got to. And that has to trigger that that emotional has to trigger the energy to make your physical do something. Take action. You gotta take action. All of those work. If all if you align those four, your emotional, your energy, your physical. Think about that. Think about that. If you align those, your emotional, your physical, your energy. Come on now. And that on that fourth one, your physical. So if you align your physical, your mental, your emotional, and your energy, if you align all four, the percentage of your dream coming true will be amazing. In the description, that's it for me today. <laughs> In the description, I will definitely talk to you again. In the description, I left two links. One is the basically the the, the 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 one of the roots to make me even talking here right now. For me to be even talking right now on this on this on this phone right here, you know what I'm saying? Hitting you with some a little bit of knowledge, you know what I mean? The reason why. It changed my life is in the link, the first link. And my store is in the second link. Hit the links below. Hit the links below. Hit them links below. You know what I mean? Hit that comment. Hit that like, because I love it. Hit the share. You know what I'm saying? Hit all those on that phone or on that computer. Everything. Because I don't want you to miss nothing. You know what I mean? And I will definitely, definitely see you again. You know? Absolutely. Don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. You know what I'm saying? Treat your, Don't cheat yourself with a mediocre life or even a mediocre mind. You know what I'm saying? Treat yourself to an abundant life and an abundant mind. Dream big and your dreams will come true. If you believe it, champ out. You have no idea what's in you. You have no idea right now. Everything that's in you is basically projecting to your outer world. Your inner world right now is creating your outer world. Every situation, every problem, every mishap, everything that has taken place in your life, you did it. And most of you, you're focusing on everything outside. Well, I need to change them. I need to change my spouse. I need to change my job. I need to change my clothes. But what about you? You! See, you won't face yourself because you're scared of yourself. You're afraid of the thoughts. You're afraid of the pain. You're afraid of failure. See, the thing is, most people, you know why they won't be entrepreneurs or won't even attempt it or can't persevere? Because they fear failure. They fear looking back. Your inner world is creating your outer world.